Hey guys, you're here with Denitra, and I've got a video to show you. Um, not a video to show you, I have some things that I want to show you. Um, I've been working on, um, too many albums and, um, a birthday gift, and I just wanted to show you guys that I'm back in, in the crafting mode. I haven't really been crafting at all, but, um, yesterday I started, and now I can't stop, which is bad because I have homework I need to get to, but... I will stop eventually and get to that, but, um, this is the start of my Christmas mini album. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself or give it away or send it, um, to a family member or, um, a dear friend, but, um, I am making it and I am having so much fun with it. It's using a My Road chipboard album. Uh, it's very oddly shaped, as you can see. It's not square at all, but, um, I'm having fun with it. Uh, what I did was I painted the inside cover and the outside with vanilla acrylic paint and this is an ornament that I got from the dollar store and it came um they come in three in a pack and there's little cherubs and um it's so pretty um it's very glimmery I put some feathers behind the wings and um hot glued it on there and I just put 2010 over with some glitter paper from DCWV and um, here's some flowers. These poinsettias and roses are from I Am Roses. So love those. Love I Am Roses flowers. If you haven't tried them out, you should um, put in a small order just so you can try out. Um, and I put um, gold acrylic paint or um, paint dauber is what it is on the poinsettias and um, in various spaces on the chipboard album. As you can see, there's just to kind of, you know, I don't know give it some interest I guess there's some snowflakes and then on the side right here behind these crystal crystal beads was the the screw or whatever from the three ring on the inside so you see it looked like this on the other side and so I just put that there and then um, this is a ornament so excuse the lawnmower outside well, I think it's a lawnmower. I don't know what it is, but it's getting on my nerves. Anyway, um, excuse that noise. This is a snowflake. This is also a Christmas ornament that I got from the dollar store. Um, it came ten in a pack, but um, I decided to use it on for crafts, and it's very glittery. And I put this doily behind here. You can see the shimmer on that. It's a uh, starburst stains and I don't remember. It's um. I don't remember. Let's see if I can grab it down. It's my bucket of glimmer sprays. Uh, it's a red one. Here it is. Um, Peony Scarlet Red. Very vivid red. Um, the ink is red, and then the shimmer itself is like a pink. So, um, really pretty. Anyway, let's move on. Um, this is a holly. Or, don't you call this a holly leaf? What do you call it? Yeah, with the berries and then the leaves. Well, this came from a, it's like a digital stamp um, I got from two peas in a bucket, and it was free. So, um, I just printed it off and cut it out. And um, it's not adhered down all the way, so a picture could stick behind here. And then this is a pocket. And you could put journaling or whatever. Pictures. Really cute. I wanted it to look similar to a present, but really cute. Um, all the pages aren't done, so um, this is Webster's pages on here. All Webster's pages. Um, this is Merry Moments Designer Series paper. This one right here from um, Stampin' Up from last year. I don't know if it's current in the catalog, but I had like two sheets left over, so I'm trying to stretch it. Because I don't have any Christmas paper. On the back of these little tags, I painted them um, just to give it some texture. Um, it feels really nice. And then put some designer paper on the top, other side, and then some lace. And then they stick behind here. And you can also put pictures here or journal. Something like that. Um, this little t tab slides out. There's a poinsettia and um, ribbon. And I put the lace on here and some beads. And then I use frosted lace stickles around the edge of this page. 
so I'm nothing on this page yet. This is Webster's Pages. And then this page is was painted with um, glossy red paint. Um, and I like that a lot. This is uh, DCWV glitter paper behind here. And then this is some um, Jillian... Um, let me see if I can find it. This comes from the, um, what is this, Jenny Bolin Memo Notebook, and it's got, like, small notebook pages. It's really cute, and then a little, uh, like, writing tablet, um, so for journaling, and so um, I just used two of them, and then this brad here, and it swivels around, so you can just journal about the holidays or whatever you could put in there, and then this one lifts up because I had to glue it down, but you get the idea. And um, on the back, it's just painted with a grain acrylic paint. And then um, these pages are covered with Webster's pages. And I think this is um, the Garden Garden Gala collection. So, and then this is painted again on this page. So um, that's how I did it since I didn't have that much paper to go around. Uh, so that's the start of it, and I'll finish it soon. And then another thing I started was a baby mini album and this is for a neighbor she's having a boy and I just thought ooh baby um I, I don't I've never made a baby mini album um ever um not for a baby like I've got scrapbooks of Morgan but they're not when she was a baby they're older pictures but um I'm having so much fun with this and it's for a boy I have nothing boy you guys so this is really hard um but the paper I used which only had 18 sheets well, is um, from Kane Company and it's called um, it says DR Baby Matte Pad so um, this is this and it was like $2 at Michael's so I grabbed it and that's the only big boy type paper I have in, the, in my whole entire stash and so I got this from Karen put the elephant here from Zubaloo spelled out baby boy um, just really simple on the inside too. Just photo mats, some journaling. Um, this little booklet here can open up and she can journal and put pictures if she wants. Um, there's a little giraffe from Zubaloo. Pick photo mat. Tiger. This says sunshine. Um, really simple. I'm going a little fast, but I didn't want to take that long. I just wanted to show you guys. Here's some bears from so all all of the animals are from Zublu. Let me just say that before I'm gonna keep saying it. And then this is um this is a, the card feature from Zublu, and it just opens up like that. She can put a picture down. Some journaling, and then I've got a few more pages, and then I'll be done with that. And then um, if you guys know or don't know, I am a nanny. Um, is that's my occupation, and um oh. One of the children that I have the privilege of taking care of every day um, is turning four, and she's such a particular four-year-old. Um, she's very mature of her age, but she's been hinting that she wants a purse, and she knows or she thinks that I can make anything <laughs> because I make cards and booklets and so many things for them. Um, and so she's been hinting that she wants a purse. So I'm, I, as you guys know, I've got my sewing machine, and I am not good at all. Look at that stitching. It's not straight in any way, um, but I'm trying. And so I'm just going to try to finish up this purse and see if it's good enough to, to give to her. Um, so it's going to flip over like this. And I'll be finishing that tomorrow because her birthday is on Tuesday. So I want to get that done. But that's the beginning of it. And it opens. And then I'm going to put um, a strap, you know, a strap on it so you can carry it around. And then this is her birthday card. Very girly. Oh, this is 5x5, five five, I think. And, um... This is from Zubaloo, the happy birthday, and then this is from Stretch Your Imagination, the um, ice cream cone. And then here's the box that I'm going to put the purse in. So it's a thin box, um, but I, had j I just made it and tied the ribbon on it, so it's going to open. And she'll find the purse inside and probably some lip gloss and fingernail polish, something like that. But um, that's it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little sneak peek of what I've been doing. Um... Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, and um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.